I'm at the Keysight stand and that is my Swiss Army knife and I'm going to attempt to open a, uh, what is it, the new, this is the new Armatry Blade uh, Turns like, seems like somebody's hacked this one, they've re replaced C2901 on the 28th of Feb. Gee, it's been around for a while. Oh, oh no, you've got to take these off. You gotta take these off as well, that's annoying. Ah, oh, get back to you. Alright, we I think we, we have to get these end pieces off. And we think that. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. oh is there a school? Is there one at the back? I think that might be holding it in. Ah, oh, unbelievable. I'll get back to you again. Alright, we're getting into it now, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, hey, we're in. Here we go. We're in like Flynn. Oh, there we go. Now. Oh, jeez, there's five. How many fans in this thing? Unbelievable. Two, four, six, eight fans. Crazy. What's going on? That's nuts. How much airflow? Oh, nice little uh, vib uh, anti vibration mounts on them. Nice. Is it low noise? So, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's, it's pretty low noise, but geez, with that many well, fans. Remember when we were testing yesterday, and you, you, you couldn't even hear the fan. Oh, yeah, you well, it's a loud trade the, show, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, th th that's kind of really funky, but why so many? So we're, we're getting uh, push, um, a suck in from one side and push out the other yeah. side. Uh, and, and we did actually, I did some uh, product engineering for them, which I'll have to charge, because it's no normally it sits on the bench like this, and... It has the key sight thingamabob like this, but that takes up a lot of square area on your bench, so screw that. I reckon they should actually provide some feet that clip into there and the foot on the bottom so you can mount it vertically like that. And even the key sight logo is correct because it sucks in the air from the bottom and the hot air comes out the top. So, yep, I'll charge them for that. Bit of design advice. So, there we go. And I believe this is exactly the same card as what they use in the uh, PXI, PXI uh, devices. So it's the same, um, oops, well, yes, yes, this is the front. So I believe this is the, uh, either the identical card or pretty close to it that they're using the PXI and they've just got the... Uh, it, the, uh, the, the same technology stuff. I do, yeah, probably is a different layout. But uh, anyway, all the magic's under the can. Sorry, um, but I'm not going to not going to take the can off here. But uh, there you go. So they got the uh, the uh, PC interface and everything else in there. What's the expansion for? They got an expansion slot in there for memory. No one knows. No one has a clue. Okay, that's pretty neat. Anyway, that's inside the new arbitrary uh, waveform gen. And this is their new line of um, USB uh, instruments, and, and they all stack, as you saw, it had the uh, circle on top, and you can all stack them together. They've got a uh, VNA, they've got a one gig bandwidth um, scope, a uh, thousand, you know, the, with the MegaZoom 4 ASIC with the million waveform updates per second. And they, this is the arbitrary waveform generator, they've got a VNA as well, which is uh, 26.5 gig. That's insane. That's like Field Fox, that's the same as the Field Fox, yep. probably. So they'll probably take the board out of the Field Fox, whack it in here. But if you have to ask the price on that, you can't afford it. Anyway, that's a vector network analog. Um, this is the arbitrary waveform. You can get a VNA and a scope in the same form factor. So that's a winner. Look at that. Beautiful. They got a, a nice uh, die-cast um, chassis on that too. It's really rather. It's a it's a nice design. They they do industrial design very well. Really like it.